Hi everyone. In this series of videos, we're looking at how to use the Fusion Builder elements. Today we're looking at how to use the Widget Area element. Let's begin. The Widget Area element allows you to add widgets which are usually only seen in footers and sidebars, directly into your page content. Let's have a look at the University demo to illustrate. On the About page here, I might add a blog widget which I've made onto the page. This page can't take a sidebar as it's using the 100% width page template and I might not want a sidebar to go all the way down the page in any case. With this method, I can simply add a widget into any column I want. I'm going to delete this first empty column and resize the other empty one on the right to be a one third column. I'll add my widget area element into here. It loads with the first widget, but all the others are here under the drop down in widget area name. I'm going to choose the one at the bottom called about page widget. Okay, so there's our widget. There are a few options with this element, but they are completely optional. Widget title size can override the title size, but here I think the default is fine. I might change the widget title color though to this orange. There's also an option for background color and one for padding control. Finally, there is the usual element visibility option, which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. The widget area element is very useful anytime you want widget content to show directly in page content, rather than in a sidebar or footer. Okay, this concludes our video on how to use the widget area element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.